รายการนี้เป็นรายการทั่วไปสามารถรับชมได้ทุกวัยสวัสดีครับ Hi, you're watching Hello English, your English program. I'm your host, b u k i t r a i r a t Now, as a kid, I always loved dinosaurs, and I loved to learn about them and all the interesting facts and read about them. That's the main thing, reading. It was kind of boring, but today, the younger generation is in luck because there is a place where we can go and learn about dinosaurs in a more fun way. Now. What am I talking about? Well, there's this place called Dinosaur Planet, located right in the heart of Bangkok, and we'll see what different things they have there to teach us about dinosaurs. Then afterwards, a j a n c h a l a t w a t will share with us some useful tips on structure and vocabulary. So let's go now to English Magazine. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello and welcome to English Magazine. You are with me again today, Sita, and I have a guest, my nephew n o n g n a m j a i n o n g n a m j a i So n a m j a i where are we today? At Dinosaur Planet. Dinosaur Planet. So this is amazing. You know, I'm so excited and feel like a little kid once again here. Children and adults can enjoy a dinosaur planet, a dinosaur theme park right here in Bangkok City, and it's a big hit right now. When you come here, it is amazing to see huge dinosaur coming back to life. Dinosaur Planet gives you more than just entertainment. It's a learning center with all enthralling presentation that will excite all visitor. And now I'm ready. Let's go to the age of dinosaur. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Dinosaur Planet has eight amazing zones. First is Dinosaur District. Which introduces you to the different dinosaurs. You can go back in time to the dinosaur world through multimedia presentations. You will hear an explanation of Dinosaur Planet and know a little about what interesting things await you. When you've listened to the introduction, the time machine will start working, and then the fun will begin. When you step out, your vision will be filled with the great skeletons of Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus in the Big Bone Gallery. On the left, there's a touch screen that lets kids learn more about dinosaurs. It will make you and your children appreciate dinosaurs even more. This spot is very popular with the kids. The next room has a multimedia technology exhibit about the origins of dinosaurs. It's very modern and interesting. In this room, you can also enter a cool laboratory to see dinosaur eggs being incubated. It really makes you feel like you're in a real lab. A lab employee brings in a dinosaur egg to show. Then something unexpected happens. The alarm sounds. Everyone, get down! Down! A dinosaur is coming to get her egg back. Then the egg hatches. What kind of dinosaur is it? I can't tell yet. This one must be a raptor. You get a different kind of feeling from watching. It's exciting. Zone two, Dino Eye. Shall we get on the Ferris wheel to get an aerial view from the crystal capsule? You can observe from 50 meters up and get a view of the whole dinosaur planet. Zone three, stars of Dino. You can walk in the jungle amongst animatronic dinosaurs that really move. Let's see Dilophosaurus, 
a carnivore from the early Jurassic period. Only the males have crests. This is a favourite with the children. Everyone who goes past wants to take a photo. Triceratops, an herbivorous dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period. It's so cute. It's vegetarian. Spinosaurus is another carnivore dinosaur from the middle Cretaceous period that liked to eat fish. It was the scary one in Jurassic Park Part 3. Brachiosaurus from the Jurassic period is the long-necked, plant-eating dinosaur. This one is life-sized. Now we've learned more about the different kinds of dinosaurs. There are herbivorous ones and carnivorous ones. Let's move on. There are more exciting things waiting. Zone 4 – Deep World Here you can go on an adventure to underneath the Earth's surface millions of years ago and witness a battle between dinosaurs. Let's go look. Zone 5 – The Great Volcano and the Extinction Live Show if you come in the evening, you can watch a show about a volcanic eruption millions of years ago. Zone 6, Raptor Extreme. This is a highlight. No one who comes here wants to miss this part. It's fun. You have to complete your mission within the time limit and run away from raptors at the same time. About 15 to 20 people can enter the zone at one time. This picture shows the outside. Inside you're not allowed to take photos. If you complete the mission by the deadline, the doors will open. But if you can't do it, the raptors can easily eat you up. Beware! You start by listening to the briefing from the commando unit. After that you enter the station. The noises inside are exciting. It's like you're in the station and can hear a video that someone recorded just before they died. You have to complete the mission by finding a code tag from the body of a soldier who died in a helicopter crash and then find the locked metal case. You can open the case with the code tag. Inside there's a pass that will let you get out of the station and escape the raptors. Isn't it fun? This zone is appropriate for teams. Zone 7, Dino Farm. This zone is for little ones who can take a ride on dinosaurs around the farm. Zone 8 Dino Square. There is a very special gift shop with items you can only find here. Kids who like dinosaurs can buy one to take home as a souvenir. Children like these to be here and learn about dinosaurs. Humans were not around in time to see dinosaurs, but here at Dinosaur Planet, you can experience lots of dinosaurs and learn of the IH of dinosaurs here. Okay, it's unusual and sort of like you are like in Jurassic Park movie once again. Okay, so we have to say goodbye for now to look for dinosaurs. Okay, bye bye. 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 Bye ซึ่งเป็นส่วนสนุกไดโนเสาร์ใจกลางเมืองนะคะที่กำลังมาแรงสุดๆในเวลานี้เลยค่ะขอให้สังเกตการออกเสียงคำด้วยนะคะแม้ว่าในภาษาไทยนะคะเราจะออกเสียงว่าไดโนเสาร์ก็ตามแต่คำภาษาอังกฤษเราจะออกเสียงว่าไดโนเสาร์ไดโนเสาร์นะคะ
ไดโนเสาร์ก็มีหลายพันธุ์นะคะทั้งสายพันธุ์ที่กินเนื้อแล้วก็สายพันธุ์ที่กินพืชนะคะไดโนเสาร์พันธุ์ที่กินเนื้อนะคะเราจะเรียกเป็นภาษาอังกฤษว่า carnivorous dinosaur carnivorous dinosaur นะคะส่วนไดโนเสาร์พันธุ์ที่กินพืชนะคะเราก็เรียกว่า herbivorous dinosaur หรืออาจจะเรียกว่า plant eating dinosaur ก็ได้ค่ะไดโนเสาร์ planet แห่งนี้นะคะมีมากกว่าความบันเทิงไดโนเสาร์ planet gives more than just entertainment ไดโนเสาร์ planet gives more than just entertainment ที่นี่ยังเป็นแหล่งการเรียนรู้สุดอลังการและสมบูรณ์แบบนะคะที่สามารถสร้างความตื่นเต้นให้กับผู้มาเที่ยวชมได้ค่ะ It is also a learning center with enthralling presentations that will excite all visitors. It is also a learning center with enthralling presentations that will excite all visitors. ผู้ที่เข้าไปเที่ยวชมก็สามารถข้ามมิติเวลาไปสู่โลกหรือดวงดาวแห่งไดโนเสาร์ผ่านการนำเสนอด้วยสื่อมัลติมีเดียได้นะคะ You can go back in time to the dinosaur world through multimedia presentations. You can go back in time to the dinosaur world through multimedia presentations. เมื่อพูดถึงการข้ามมิติเวลานะคะเราใช้คำว่า to go back in time to go back in time ส่วนเครื่องข้ามมิติเวลาเราเรียกว่า time machine time machine เมื่อท่านผู้ชมเข้าไปเที่ยวชมที่ Big Bone Gallery นะคะก็จะเห็นโครงกระดูกของไดโนเสาร์หลายพันธุ์ด้วยกันนะคะคำว่าโครงกระดูกเราสามารถเรียกเป็นภาษาอังกฤษว่า skeleton skeleton นะคะกิจกรรมที่น่าสนใจอีกอย่างหนึ่งนะคะก็คือการเข้าไปเดินตะลุยป่าท่ามกลางฝูงหุ่นไดโนเสาร์ที่สามารถขยับตัวได้จริงนะคะ You can walk in the jungle amongst animatronic dinosaurs that really move You can walk in the jungle amongst animatronic dinosaurs that really move และทั้งหมดนั่นก็เป็นคำศัพท์และโครงสร้างประโยคภาษาอังกฤษที่เป็นประโยชน์ที่ท่านผู้ชมได้จากการไปเที่ยวชมไดโนเสาร์ planet กันนะคะสำหรับวันนี้สวัสดีค่ะ Wow quite fun and exciting right and let me tell you it's a lot more fun than just reading about them in the books like I had to do so if you get a chance to go to dinosaur planet please bring your whole family but watch out for T Rex <laughs> Now, up next, we'll meet with a mother of two, who has published a book about teaching her kids the English language. So let's go now and meet Matan in English Club. สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone, welcome to English Club. I'm Thomas Tham Biem s o m b o o n Today's special guest is a great mother because she has teach her kids how to be good at English, and she sees the importance of English as well. So we're going to talk to her about her experience and why English is so important for her, for Thai kids, and especially for her children as well. So please welcome today's special guest, Kun Tan. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับคุณตาน So before we talk about English and the subject, which is very important, could you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello, everyone. My name's Tan n a t a y a b u n g k a m but in social network called me m e t a n Yes, now I I married. I have two kids. I graduated. I graduated. From m a h a s t r k a m University in in education science major. Right. So married now and having two beautiful kids. And before we talk about why English is so important for Thai kids and for your children, in your opinion, why was English so important for you personally? Mm. When I was 22 years old, mm -hmm. I have ever been to USA. Mm -hmm. I want to go over there because I want to see the snow. Mm. But when I live in USA with my friend, I know English is very, very important for connection, mm -hmm. for living, mm -hmm. for going anywhere. For communicating, everything, right? Yes, yes. Mm. Everything is English. Mm -hmm. I can't speak. I can't talk to. 
another person mm -hmm. when I live in the USA. Oh, so when you lived there, you couldn't talk, you couldn't communicate. No, no. I, I can say only yes <laughs> and no and mm -hmm. smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that was when you feel English was very important, right? For going overseas and just English-speaking countries like the United States. Mm. And moving on now, since when did you develop your English? When did you become better at English? How did you teach yourself to be good at English? The first time, I, I can't speak English like this. Mm -hmm. uh, before, I can't speak English before, but I, I have kids. Mm -hmm. He's Kun Kun my mm -hmm. my first my first son. Child, yes, right. my f yes, yes. When when he was six months, mm -hmm. I saw him face mm -hmm. and I thought, What can I give you? Mm. What can I give? And I asked my husband, What what can we give to your son? To yes, your to my son. to our son. Mm -hmm. What? No money, no car, mm -hmm. no no house, right. but yes, but what he can, he can improve his life in the future mm -hmm. with 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 anything you can give him, right? Yes, and my and my husband he he said, okay, I will I will find it. What 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 shall we do mm -hmm. Mm. next? Uh, next day, yes, he he told me, Dan, I know what. What will we do? Mm -hmm. Shall we teach him, speak with him in English? We will... Give him education, right? Yes. Mm, give him knowledge. Yes, yes, knowledge. Right. So no house, no money, I, no car. Yes. But you felt that the best thing you can give him is education in English. Yes. And what happened next? Happened. Uh, next, uh, I told him, told my husband, Yes. Okay. I will I will teach him this is my duty mm -hmm. okay first I read a book mm -hmm. read grandma mm -hmm. read hard mm -hmm. what what uh, what can I say in English uh, uh, when I take a shower what yes. can I speak in English mm -hmm. get dressed mm -hmm. what can I speak in, in English mm -hmm. and read grandma write mm -hmm subject and verb mm -hmm. and da -da -ba 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 -ba. when I have a uh, activity right. with with my with my son yes F first time I remember first time I said Kun Ngan, good morning how are you mm -hmm. are you hungry and then my my husband he he hold the bowl mm -hmm. and glass mm -hmm. for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I want to say it in Thai. I want to say, "Po mi aray, po thi aray, na kin chang lei, aray yu nai na na." I I I don't know in English. Mm -hmm. I quiet and stop anything, and I I think oh, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. I can't do it, mm -hmm. but. My husband said, you can do it. Another person can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it too. Wow. So it started from your son, right? Yes. It, you, you started to learn English for yourself so that you can pass that knowledge on to your son. Yes. Mm. Next, next time, I, I find my, my way mm -hmm. for improve myself mm -hmm. and my son. Mm -hmm. So in passing that knowledge on to your children and teaching them about daily activities, like this is a bowl, you know, uh, I'm taking a shower. Yes. How did you prepare mm. those words when talking to your kids? Okay, every, d every week mm -hmm. I will prepare my dialogue mm -hmm. and son. What, what will we do mm -hmm. in this week in English? Category, right? Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, this week I will speak uh, travel topic. Right. Yes. I will search, mm -hmm. search in internet, mm -hmm. ask English mm. teacher. Right. <laughs> ask my friend's husband, foreigner, mm. like this. And mm. I write, write. 
-hmm. right? So each each week is a different topic, and yes. each week is a different, uh, maybe a different region of the house and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And now moving on, talking about your books right yes. here, it's amazing. You develop yourself to become good at English and also write books. Can you talk about what your books is about yes. and who inspired you to write books? Yeah, um, my inspiration is. Two kids, mm -hmm. my two kids. Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. This Kun Nguyen, this is Kun Kang. Uh, first this son and first second son. Yes, right. Yes. This book is the bilingual rural mom, like uh, my pocket book. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, when I was young, mm -hmm. how about my skill English? Mm -hmm. My English is very poor. Right. <laughs> yes. And how to teach my son mm -hmm. and what is the problem? Mm -hmm. And now Thank that you're you. very good at English, and no. you, well, you're good at English, better <laughs> than you, you were, and mm -hmm. you were able to write books. So out of your inspiration to write books and to be good at English, why is English important for Thai kids? Mm. And if we understand in English language, mm -hmm. we can find good things, mm -hmm. good news, mm -hmm. good content for mm -hmm. improve every aspect right yes of life. yes mm. <laughs> wow so it's very true I mean all the content are nowadays in English so if you know English you can know more content yes. have more knowledge and have more friends too oh, <laughs> yes of course can you give them some motivation that you can be good at English in order to pass that knowledge on to your son that oh. it's never too late or your daughter your yeah. child mom believe in yourself if you believe in yourself, you can do everything for your son because your son, your kids, is the best thing in our life. Do it, read, listen, uh, watch the TV in English subtitle, uh, and watch the cartoon for fighter sentence and give it to your child. It's easy. If you think you can do it, believe yourself. Wow, thank you very much. Thank and thank you for being on our show. Thank you. Thank you. So now we found a great inspiration how all the mom and dad out there can teach their child, whether it's their son or their daughter in English, just believe in yourself and do it. The best thing you can pass on to your children is education and knowledge. But we're all out of time, so we'll see you next time. Swadikap. Thank you very much to Matt Dan for sharing her time and her book with us. Your tips are very useful and I'm sure many parents can make good use of it. And now it's time for English Corner, where Ajahn Pui and Ajahn Kip have their heads in the clouds. สวัสดีค่ะคุณผู้ชมคะขอต้อนรับเข้าสู่ English Corner ค่ะดิฉันปุ๋ยสิตาแอนน้องกิฟจิตสุภาค่ะค่ะพี่ปุ๋ยคะค่ะมันคงจะดีนะถ้าหากว่า1สัปดาห์นะมีสัก8วัน8วันใช่แต่ละวันก็มีสัก48ชั่วโมงนะคะไม่ดีอ่ะทำไมอ่ะนานโกนจะได้ทำงานได้เยอะๆโอ้ยิ่งไม่ดีใหญ่เลยอ่ะไม่แล้วถ้าเราสามารถทานอะไรก็ได้ที่เราชอบแล้วไม่อ้วนอย่างเค้กนี่ละค่ะอันนี้ดีอ่ะพี่ปุ๋ยชอบอะแต่พี่ปุ๋ยว่าวันนี้กิ๊ปแปลกๆนะทำไมอะเหมือน you definitely have your hate in the crowds เอ๊ะหัวกับเมฆเกี่ยวอะไรกันคะ have your hate in the crowds แต่ว่าเหมือนกับพวก perfect น่ะหรือว่า daydreaming ฝันกลางวันหรือภาษาวัยรุ่นนี่คือวันเวอร์อะไรเงี้ยโอ้โหเจ็บ hate in the crowds วันเวอร์ค่ะแล้วเราต้องยังไงอะคะในทางตรงกันข้ามกิฟต้องลองเป็นผู้หญิงพี่ปุ๋ยค่ะก็คือ have your feet on the ground เท้าวางอยู่บนพื้นดินใช่ค่ะเป็นยังไงคะก็เป็นลักษณะของคนที่อยู่ในโรงความเป็นจริงอ๋อใช่คือกินอะไรก็ได้เท่านั้นกินมากก็อ้วนมากอะไรอย่างเงี้ย have your feet on the ground เข้าใจแล้วค่ะก็คือเราจะมี2ประโยคนะคะ have your feet in the ground ก็คือวนเวอร์หรือว่า have your feet on the ground ก็คืออยู่ในโลกแห่งความเป็นจริงใช่ค่ะตอนนี้เราทานเค้กกันดีกว่าเนาะทานเค้กกันดีกว่าค่ะผู้ชมคะขออนุญาตไปทานเค้กก่อนนะคะกลับมาพบกับ English Corner แล้วก็ปุ๋ยสิตาจิ๊บจิตสุภาพกันใหม่คราวหน้าวันนี้ไปก่อนค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, but unfortunately, it's all the time that we have. If you have any comments or suggestions you'd like to give us, please send it to the address on the screen. And be sure to check out our show through any of these channels as well. I'm your host, Bukrit Trairat. See you next time on Hello English. Swadikap.